here, guys. This is what you call an eki bin. Eki bin, which is a bento made to eat on trains. And I'm on a bullet train right now, headed to the Tohoku region. Pretty sick. And yeah, I need to get my protein in for some gains. So I decided to get this gyutang and steaky bento. So gyutang is cow tongue. Steak, steaky is steak. That's what it looks like. Legit. Um, yeah, so what's cool about this bento is that, do you see these strings right here? It's wrapped up. And basically, I already pulled it off, unfortunately, but this yellow string is attached right here. And when you pull it, this thing auto grills itself. And so in about five minutes, the meat and everything inside will grill and actually cook to look like this. So instead of a cold bento, like that, I'm gonna have me a nice, warm, grilled bento. Pretty excited. We're about to go in on this thing. It's mine, right? But on this side, we got a nicer bento. What do we call this? You heard it here first, folks. And it actually came in this super nice box. Let's take a look inside. Boom, look at that presentation. This is one of three Japanese famous beef. Apparently, Japanese has famous, Japan has famous beef, and this is one of the three famous ones. Presentation, looking good. Mine's probably better. Let's find out. Five minutes has passed. Let's take a look. God damn it, seals. Look at that. Looking good. That's my meal, baby. Gains. What's up, guys? So right now, I'm in the Tohoku region in a town called Hiraizumi. And we are at this temple called Chu Monji. <laughs> I messed up. Chu Sonji. Chu Sonji. And it's supposed to be a really sick golden temple, so we're about to check that out. Gonna climb up this hill. Let's go. Climbing up this big old hill. Pretty sick. Dude, this is really beautiful. Trees everywhere. Captain's log. It's now 12 o'clock. We've been hiking for like five minutes now. I'm out of breath. I'm just kidding. So this slope keeps getting steeper and steeper. So hopefully we're almost there. Walking. All right, the view is looking beautiful. Still have about 500 meters left to go. We're climbing and we're enjoying the view. All right, so we have made it to the entrance. We are here at the entrance to Chu Sonji. It's about a, I would say, 10 minute hike up. Let's see what's on the inside. So here we are on the inside. Got a little tour group over there. This is the only I guess stand, I think. Here we go. Right, we're going to this place right there. Konjikido. Walk in, weather's beautiful, life is good. Here we go. There's not that many people here. I think it's really nice because it can keep that vibe of nature. So it feels really good over here. All right, time to buy the ticket. All right, guys. So after purchasing our ticket, we could actually enter this little museum. It was really cool, but unfortunately, there's no videos in there, so I couldn't record it for you guys. But just know that if you ever come here, you totally can enter this museum included in the cost of your ticket. All right, guys, so now we are walking up these stairs, headed up to that temple right over there. The inside is supposedly going to be all gold and stuff, so I'm pretty excited to see that. I don't know if we can take videos or not, so we're about to find out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
大前列には時刻点同頂点と独自の仏像構成となっていた4本の丸い柱には48体のお宅の so I just got out of that temple dude it was so unbelievably beautiful Again, we couldn't take video, so I feel really bad. But I tried to sneak at least a glimpse of what it looks like. I'm sure you can find images and stuff on the internet. But、um, it's like mind blowing to look at. But you see, like a little pirated video that I was taking from my coat, like this. I don't know, it's, it's kind of bad, but I did it. Hopefully, you guys are interested in like, check this place out. It's beautiful, man. You definitely should. What's up, guys? So, finally, we finished checking out that Golden Temple. It was really, really beautiful. So, I'm back here at、uh, Ichinose Station, and we're actually gonna take a bus now to go see this area called Gebike, which basically we can take like a boat tour in this like ravine. And the pictures looked amazing. We actually just decided to do that while we were getting off the bullet train because we saw a poster and it looked really sick. So, we're gonna check that out. Hopefully, it's really nice. What's up, guys? So, we're here at Gebike now. We're gonna take a boat tour. So, you can see these boats down here. And then, if you look a little bit up here, you can see the mountains and the valley. Unfortunately, fall is already over. So, the leaves are gone, but it's still gonna be really great. So, come on. Alright, so we're on the boat now. It's really amazing in person. And check this out. Definitely a very awesome place to visit, dude. Looks like they're trying to throw the rocks into that cage. Not doing so hot. Dude, standing inside this place looks ridiculous because it's like the bottom of the Grand Canyon, kind of. I mean, I'm sure the Grand Canyon is a little higher, but it's the same kind of feeling. Like the temperature is a little different, it's colder. Really cool. Really like peaceful. Pretty safe. Alright, we're heading back to the boat. Kinda don't want to leave. Little duck action. There's a little guy. <laughs> so it's cool because you can ride this boat and feed it as you're going. So this little kid is feeding him. Look at him go. Yeah. Get that food. <laughs> 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 I 